In this one, we're going to be checking out this little abandoned church I found. It's going to be one of my first churches ever exploring. Pretty tiny in person. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but it's our first one. So let's get it. I'll see you guys inside. just on the side looks like to be part of a leaf blower down there honestly I feel like this church was built somewhere around the 70s to 80s there's not a single gutter in sight but man just look at this you guys seriously everything's literally been graffitied People have gotten and made their way in here, of course, and a lot of people, they say they don't really want to come explore this just because of all of it, but, you know, I had to come here myself. First things first, we got a whole new piano. Someone did spray paint on the keys, sadly, but I was checking it out earlier. Still works. You can see the keys are still there foot pedals are down here they're still attached i know i say a lot of spots are peaceful but it really is one of the most peaceful spots the pews over here and it looks like on the ground it is caving in starting to at least so it's barely holding up as you can tell so i gotta i have to be careful with this I mean, this is gonna be a short one for sure. There really isn't much in this building. Like, this is a very, very, very small building, as you can tell. But I am just gonna walk around a little bit, see what we can find. Over here behind me is the original entranceway that they boarded up. I've never really been to church before. I'm from an Islamic background. Being here, it's pretty interesting, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm not sure what indicates it, but I feel like this might be the women's restroom. Let's take a look in here. Ooh, it was very, very shaky. Mm, glass everywhere. It looks like candle holders and shit. There's holes in the wall. I don't see a mirror anywhere, so it might be destroyed or something. As you can see, there's like ceiling fan wings, panes, I forget what you call them, but they're in here as well toilet's been broken to shit we got the sink here someone left their spray paint can look at the design on these handles though actually yeah these are definitely older style handles you don't see anything like that anymore seriously got the design on the window put dildo here <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. I'm thinking that that is the fire alarm right there. I could be wrong. Now, this is the only fan that I see that's still intact. Like, in really good shape. The floor over here, it's missing a board. A couple stuff in there. Deodorant stick right here. I mean, let's look in there. Yeah, there's a bunch of pew coverings in this restroom. And it leads to all the... All the piping and the insulation. Not sure if they really had it in this building for sure, but this toilet was smashed up by a rock. I'm not sure that ain't the only rock that it's been through. That is an even older style sink. Those knobs really, really, really old. I've had these in my one of my old houses way back in the day. You know? Looks like there's a razor and whatever's in there. Outwash, I'm thinking. This looks like some type of post for 
the pews in the walkway outside in the main room. Could be wrong. I'm not too sure exactly what this is. This whole wooden frame right here. But same design on the other side. I did find some wedding reception prices. You know, showing us what it really hosted back in the day. Pretty much anything, honestly, you know, so. Large fruit trays in season. This place is known as the Chapel. I'm guessing from way back in the day, like in the, in the 90s, the 80s. This is really, it's a really old building, for sure. It's a very small building, too, like very small church and I see there's a lot of suit in the front where that little blue chair is right there I'm assuming that some kids did set some things on fire could be wrong uh, yeah parts of the ceiling are falling down so that's one thing I gotta be careful for uh, looks like another portion of the ceiling fan too yeah I know all these dilapidated ceiling fans just sitting in each corner you know yeah but really isn't too much this place but I did have to come here for a little photo shoot shooting some TikToks and reels so not that bad not that bad um oh one indication of just there's a suit I was telling you about right there one indication of how just how old this building is really these air conditioning vents way back in the day were always planted on the floor. So AC units and the um, piping and all sorts of stuff, they're all underground just below the surface from way back in the day. As you can see, there aren't really any type of air conditioning vents on the top and the ceilings or anything like that. Oh man. I don't know. They should really turn this church into something. It's just been sitting here for God knows how long, you know? This is when they ordered new windows from, I guess, when they were trying to replace everything and someone had already destroyed it. They're still in their wrappings, too. It's crazy. I'm going to pick this up. Just... Oh, I can't pick this up. Look at that there. But I assume that's where you put the candles, or the candle holders. And you light them there. There's a bunch of old coupon books and magazines. I wonder what's from here. Office Depot. Office Max. 649. Oh my god. Let me see if there is an expiration date on this for sure. These are old. See if I can open it up. Oh, okay, okay. So, this was from, I think, 2014, 2013. Just about 10 years shy. Us rifles and all sorts of shit. So much cobwebs. Honestly. That's the water jugs for, like, any of your volleyball, football games that you do at school or anything like that. We had them over here. I'm sure they filled some sort of communion wine or <laughs> what do you call it oh man this is an old phone book I want to see if I can get a year on this too um I don't see any I don't see anything partially even burnt this is way back in the day I never had phone books after 2010 but I grew up with a few of them in my house so they're pretty easy to recognize. Soups to start. I guess it's like a little recipe booklet. Yeah. Soups on. Oh, this is old. This is very old. But yeah, like I said, it's more of those little candle holders, I'm assuming. If not, these are probably just electrical lights. Now, someone did knock over this pew right here, so. Let's see if I can pick it up with one hand. Oh my god. Okay. That was on its very last leg, but I managed to get it up somewhat. There's just a lot of shit on the ground. Oh, it looks like an old picture frame. Very old lawn chair right here. I'm just gonna 
Set that right there. More another phone book right here. Uh, just a bunch of hangers laying around, I'm sure, for like the gowns and stuff for the church or the chapel. But we do have an old TV set. Of course, that one's also seen better days. It's not really intact or anything. There's a mattress right over here. I keep hearing noises outside, but no one's around. No one can really get in this area. But yeah. Screen. It's been caved in. There's part of the parts of the glass right in front of it, you know. And back here, I just noticed this while I was searching everything I could find. But this is an old school microwave. Very old microwave. Now either it's old, like nineties or so, or like early two thousands, you know, just to be realistic. One of the two. You never really know what anything like these as you can see, there's another pew right over here. I think I might have mentioned it in the front. Mm, this is where the AC ventilation is. Now, it looks like someone threw a bunch of pictures and glass that was here. Now, if that was still intact, that would be so beautiful. It really would be. As you can see, there's a wooden chair down there. Piping of all sorts, kind of rusted and, and breaking away. Deteriorating. This might be where the heat comes from. I'm not too sure. You can see fucking got our little stoner parties over here. Game grapes. And I'm just gonna put the covering back on. That's what it really used to look like back in the day. So yeah. Glass from the windows. Broken and covered with graffiti. Oh man. They tried to make it red like these right here. Which I mean. Shit. 2022. So yeah, people do visit this church pretty often. It's probably to dim the lights or turn the fans on, one of the two. Now that right there is a old thermostat. Um, yeah. No, I could tell. This is definitely an old thermostat. Probably the ones that had the mercury inside to keep it balanced. I don't know what it's really used for. I'm dumb. That's pretty much it with this church. Don't want to leave right now, but there really isn't much, you know? Very quiet. In a very beautiful neighborhood, man. Oh, I appreciate you for watching this video, for sure. Leave a like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to. And yeah, let me know what you want to see, where we should go in the next adventures and explorations. I'm kind of getting to that cap of spots here in the DFW area. My goal for 2023 is to non-stop keep hitting the road hard, visit locations that I've never been to before, definitely travel out of state. That's where all the good shit's at anyway. But yeah guys, stay safe and yeah.